so hi friends so now we will be looking alcohol withdrawal in a minute very important topic so coming to alcohol withdrawal timeline so here there is a rule of 1 to 3 day 1 the patient suddenly will have simple withdrawal ok day rule of 1 to 3 day 1 will have simple withdrawal in that patient will have autonomic hyperarousal features like tachycardia sweating tremors very important tremors tachycardia and sweating in day 2 patient will have seizures which is GTCS and it is characteristically known as rum fits or cluster seizures or cluster seizures in day 3 patient will have delirium tremens so delirium means clouding of consciousness with disorientation to time place and person and the white is tremens patient will have cold shaking of the body right and very important multiple MCQ MCQs has been asked on this Lilliputian hallucinations characteristic of alcohol hallucinosis alcohol hallucinosis usually happens between 12 to 48 hours of cessation okay here the patient will have Lilliputian hallucinations and some auditory hallucinations of derogatory content okay coming to the assessments we have some questionnaires like cage and siva okay cage and siva and uh, coming to the management of alcohol withdrawal please note benzodiazepines are the first line of management even for seizures benzodiazepines are the first line and the drug of choice is chlordisiproxide and if chlordisiproxide is not there in option diazepam okay when the patient has liver cell failure okay when the patient has liver cell failure we will use short acting benzodiazepine that is the mnemonic here stole yes for short acting benzodiazepines okay so T for temazepam, O for oxazepam, L for lorazepam, L for lorazepam, okay, lorazepam. And very important in all withdrawal related treatment, thiamine is the mainstay, okay, thiamine should be given, okay, 100 milligram of thiamine should be given for simple withdrawal, very important. And coming to alcohol de-addiction. We have two types of de addiction. One is deterrent uh, treatments and anti craving treatments. In deterrent agents, disulfiram is a deterrent agent. As you know, it is a reversible aldehyde inhibitor. So, when a patient consumes alcohol with disulfiram, there is accumulation of acetaldehyde, increased acetaldehyde, which leads to disulfiram ethanol reaction that causes flushing, hypotension, nausea, and vomiting, sudden the patient will have sudden unpleasant effects okay so usually we will start when 12 to 24 hours at least abstinence from alcohol and related products is required and for anti craving agents we have acamprostate naltrexone topiramate baclofen and ondan cetron okay naltrexone is a opioid antagonist acamprostate is an nmda modulator topiramate is basically an anti epileptic Baclofen is a GABA B agonist. Okay. On Dancetron is 5HT3 and DAC. Okay, 5HT3 and DAC. Coming to alcohol withdrawal, like chronic complications, both a Wernicke encephalopathy and coroscope psychosis. In that, there is a mnemonic for Wernicke, that is GOVA, G for global confusion, O for ophthalmoplegia, and A for attacks. A very important thing. Sixth nerve. Uh, at least affected more than third nerve and ophthalmoplegia is the first sign to resort after giving thiamine therapy multiple times asked in coroscope psychosis that is when Wernicke is untreated culminate into coroscope psychosis patient will have chronic it is a chronic complication can, patient will have uh, symptoms of confabulation and anterograde amnesia more than retrograde amnesia and please note long term memory is intact here okay what is the treatment of both high dose thiamine of what is the dose 100 to 2 uh, sorry 200 to 300 okay 200 to 300 milligram of thiamine right thank you document